this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 332 brought to you today by chess.com. I'm going to be running through a very weird product that Wizards of the Coast has done, which is poker decks. And they've got some amazingly cool poker decks. There's several different types, including my favorites, which have Magic the Gathering backs on them. Let's jump in here and first talk about a deck that sometimes people do confuse as a poker deck. Wizards of the Coast did make a card game that had these cards that look a lot like poker cards called Instinct. It is not a poker deck. It's a 66 card deck. There are 12 cards in each suit. It would have been really nice if they had just went one higher and made them 13 card suits so that you could construct a poker deck out of your four favorite colors, but they're not poker cards. I haven't actually played this game. I like some of the artwork that they chose for some of the pieces on it. It's really inexpensive to pick up on eBay, about $8. Jumping into poker decks here, though, there is one poker deck. It's actually kind of a double deck. It looks like a bridge deck, um, although the card size appears to be poker. Bridge cards are a little bit thinner, and bridge cards, you're trying to put a huge number of cards in your hand, so they are thinner, although this comes with a double deck with two different backs, which is the traditional way that bridge decks are sold, so that someone can be shuffling one deck while the other three players are playing out the current deck. They take a lot of magic art that's going to be familiar to people who played very early on and put them onto the royalty cards. And the joker there is Jester's Cap, which is a really cool card. I used to play it with a archaeologist combo to just remove all the cards from my opponent's deck. Uh, these are pretty easy to find. They run about $30 to $60. I've seen some posted at Buy It Now is much higher than that, but you can usually find them at a reasonable price. The backs on these, though, are those two very weird-looking magic card backs. They could have done a better back on these particular decks. Wizards of the Coast also made a poker deck that was specific to the Game Center in 1997. The cards are standard playing cards, and the back of them looks just like this deck does. They're, they have that Wizards of the Coast deck to them. They were given out in some promotional packs also. I have not been able to find one of these for sale, but as far as I know, there isn't much value to these, but they are a little bit on the rare side. Now we're moving into the really cool decks. This is the DCI Legends deck. This is the deck that you're going to see the most of that actually has the back of the cards as magic cards. They're made out of playing card stock. They were made here in the US. They are a standard poker deck, and this is what I use in order to play bridge, to play hearts, to play spades, to play crit. I was gifted a deck of these cards, and they are wonderful, super cool cards, well worth using. They just have a nice effect when you're playing at a magic location. People see the backs and then see the poker cards. They were given away to DCI Legend members, and they're a little bit tough to find at this point, although uh, eBay usually has some. If you know anybody who was a former Legend member, that is the best way to kind of like trade for these. They don't have a box, or at least I haven't seen a Magic-related box for them. Uh, what I would recommend doing is picking up a revised or a beta or an alpha starter box, putting them into that box, and then reinforcing that box, because those cardboard boxes are really weak. Um, I'm picking up a alpha box from a friend of mine. She's throwing it in on some trades that we're doing, and I'll be reinforcing that and doing a short little how-to video with my suggestions there. Although if you've got a great idea on how you could just laminate one of those boxes to use to carry one of these poker decks around, I would definitely be interested in your ideas there. The rarest of the poker decks is the Carta Monday poker deck. It has three jokers in it. It says made in Belgium. As far as I know, there were only a few hundred of these made. They were given away to some Wizards employees. They were given away in a retailer sweepstake, and they're really tough to find. They were printed sometime between Alpha and Arabian Nights. It's not exactly clear when in that 1993-94 time period they were printed, and they are 
on the rather expensive side. 275 was about the lowest that I saw a deck for. I've seen some up over 300. They have magic backs on the other side. And if you see these around anywhere, definitely pick them up or trade for them. They are very, very rare, very, very small print run. Now, my next question to you today, though, is what is your favorite type of Magic the Gathering swag? What interesting, weird, magic-related merchandise do you really, really like? If you've got pictures or links, please also leave those in the comments. I'm going to be doing a few videos around some of this type of stuff as we move here into the holiday season. They make some awesome, cool gifts for Magic players. For the best chances of a royal flush, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. My internet at home is back up and I'm shooting my pack openings here uh, before the end of the weekend, maybe even late tonight. Also check me out over at chess.com. I teach chess and play very, very regularly over there. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.